I was talking to someone and when he asked me about what I was selling, I was like, I'm unimpressed with it. I'm unimpressed with a lot of things. It's honesty for sure, I guess. Definitely a stupid answer. Not enthusiastic like whatsoever. Clearly I was in the wrong, but we all fuck up at some points. I'm not good with selective honesty. It's something I'm still working on because I know that if someone else sees the shit and they're unimpressed too, they're gonna look at me and be like, you did this. This is your fault. Why did I pay you? The chances are though, if you're unimpressed, they will be unimpressed because you will already have left the impression that they are, you know, not impressive. Not the person, but the product. Nobody should be unimpressed here. The product is something you should ideally be extremely confident in. So he said you could either focus on the destination or the journey, but only one will lead to your success. And I don't know if that bothered me. I don't think it did. What bothered me were probably my responses, but I came to the conclusion that I'm going to continue selling that thing anyway. And as time goes on, I'm inevitably going to be making improvements to it. This is an experimental thing for me because before I moved to Atlanta, I actually had a bi-weekly paying job, like a normal human being almost. Wow. Which paid me enough that I could afford the time to improve these things. So I was, for example, streamlining processes of beat making. I started writing hooks over my beats. I was doing mixing services for free for months before I was like, okay, that'll be $20. <laughs> and I was doing that for like a year before I was like, okay, that'll be $50. I don't do those things for free now. And that's because one, my brand is 10 times what it was then. And two, I can't afford to do these things for free, at least in the way I used to. I can do really anything I want, but I have found my back against the wall. That's because my adapt, my ability to adapt to sheer differences in situations that have nothing in common with each other was not always perfect. But I really thought about what he said, and I also came to a conclusion that it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> it's like quantity versus quality. A lot of people are so about one that they neglect the other and never get anywhere. Whereas the people going somewhere either focus on one and work with somebody focused on the other, or they do everything themselves in a balance to the point at which it outgrows them. I find myself doing the latter, which I love, but I love the process and the results. Why would I not focus on both? Because I can't? Really? I mean, you can't focus on, by definition, on more than one thing at a time, but you can always have one foot in presence and one foot in essence. It's something called the flow state where everything is equally as fun as it is challenging. This thing I'm selling is something I'm still working with, something I'm improving. No product or service is really ever entirely perfect. Thinking that it is, is something that never entirely fulfills anyone, whether you're on the side giving the money or the side offering the product or service in return for it, right? But I always have to overcommit and overdeliver, And that's where I went wrong. That mentality is what I could have done differently. I mean, look at the software updates for Echo devices. A lot of these things fucking suck for a long time. But Amazon focused on the hardware and they were like, okay, it's ready. And then got so much feedback from people. They were like, okay, at least we have the money to focus on the software. And when they did that, they made more money to make more products and keep doing things. But if you only think about the results, like are the results not in the process itself? Is the process not in the results? There's a difference between the two, but really are they not one in the same? Because you can't get one without the other. If you focus on the results and not the process, you're going to fuck up and your results are going to be fucked up. If you focus on the process and, the, and not the results, you're going to fuck up and your process process is going to be fucked up. Your success in business and health and everything is a mental state more than anything else. Is it not? The actual success is in both of them, but really only because you are, and you are the success. In the words of Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, the thoughts you have determine the quality of your mind. But if they're all skewed and biased and bent and cracked like a bunch of fucked up blood vessels, the only thing that can fix them is you. So like, what the fuck? Let me know if you guys have any ideas <laughs> you want me to talk about in future videos, and I'll give you a shout out if and when I use them. If you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. There are links at the bottom of the description to all my social media. Also at the bottom of the description, there are links to my new production kits where you can find all the hardware and software that I use to make music and these videos. If you buy any, I get commission, which helps me build this channel and keep making these videos for you guys. I made all the beats in this video. If you want to use them, you can find links to each one in the description from first to last or at samuel.earth slash beats. Make sure to leave a like if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you could turn on that little bell to receive a notification every time I drop a new video, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can find me everywhere and I will see you then.